Pregnancy, where I make jump up and exercise as a whole, more fun and exciting for anyone looking to live a healthy and active lifestyle. And I just help people look at their jump rope workout in a totally different way. Jump rope is a phenomenal exercise. As a matter of fact, 10 minutes of jump rope is equivalent to a 30 minute jog on the treadmill at 6.5 miles an hour. So depending on the intensity of your workout, you just have a mega, mega good workout. So one thing that you should consider for your jump rope workouts is the size of your jump rope. The size of your jump rope is super de duper mega important. And the size of your jump rope is what can make or break your jump rope workout and it can also lead to injury, okay? Jump ropes should be one of three sizes. It should either be to your chest level, your armpit level, or the very, very tip of your shoulder. Now, one thing is the shorter the rope, the quicker. So, the chest level, I would say, is more for a professional jumper, somebody that kind of knows what they're doing, somebody that's know, that knows what's going on, someone that's really, really looking for speed, someone that's looking, maybe practicing double unders, and uh, you also see a lot of professional jumpers using very, very short ropes because that's what works. Now, the armpit, I would say, is a general size. So if it's for somebody that's, for the most part, used to the jump rope, know how to put dangle the jump rope, know how to, you know, get something going on. And um, it's also good, like, if you're trying to practice new tricks, you're not comfortable with the short rope, you can kind of practice those things with the armpit. And the armpit, for me, is my favorite positioning of the jump rope. So um, and then the next size, it would be the tip of your shoulder, okay? The very tip. Not like the handles being up here, but the very, very tip of your shoulder. And I would say that the, that's for people who are kind of new to jump Jump rope, they're not used to jump rope, they don't have their rhythm, their timing, they don't know what's going on, so they use that as a method to get used to it. And as you start to get used to the rope, you will start to shorten it accordingly, okay? All right now, this jump rope, I just wanted to show you because I'm actually going to demonstrate a whole sizing for you, right? Now, this jump rope right here, if you notice, it has knots in it, okay? And the reason why this rope has knots in it is because when I um, when I shortened the rope at first, I didn't cut it short enough. So I sometimes I tend to leave my rope long just in case, like if I'm, depending on the skills that I'm practicing, I may want a longer rope. So instead of like having 15 million ropes, which I already have anyway, um, a lot of times I'll just keep it long and then I'll just like take knots out and put knots in. So generally when you're putting knots in your rope, if the jump rope is too long, you would for the most part put it near the handles, okay? Um, but this rope is just different because this is one of the ropes that my jump rope classes use. So they kind of put knots in, take knots out accordingly. So this is how you measure your jump rope, okay? This is how you measure your jump rope. So usually, I'm just gonna use my left side for demonstration purposes. So you can stand with your feet together. You have your left foot, right? And then you have the jump rope. You have the jump rope under your left foot. You even it out. Make sure the handles are even, right? Stick out your left arm, boom. So this rope right here, as it measures, kind of comes a bit above my under armpit. So for me, like I said, I prefer my ropes at armpit. So what all I would do is I would just take, okay, there's one knot on the side. So I would just take the rope and I put another knot in it and let me see if I like it now. I still don't like it, it's still too long for me. So I'm gonna take and put another knot in it. And I'm gonna measure it again. Boom. It's still a little bit long for me, but you have the point. So for those of you that's new to, the, um, to this broadcast, I'm Brenda Henry of MakeItFunNYC.com, where I make jump up and exercise as a whole more fun and exciting for anyone looking to live a healthy and active lifestyle. And I do that by teaching classes, online um, courses, I have jump ropes available, all that good stuff, 30-day programs. So um, the three sizes of your rope should either be chest level, and this is if you want more speed, okay? You want speed, um, you got the, the chest level. Um, the armpit, I would say, is your standard. If you're kind of comfortable with the rope, you're used to the rope, and you just need that comfortability. And then the next size would be the very tip of the shoulder. It's not all the way up here. Now, what happens when the rope is too long is that you start to um, compensate your form. So correct jump rope form is here. You should be jumping on your toes only. Hand, your um, elbow should be at your waist. And you should be turning with your wrist. So when you're jumping, it should be comfortable. I'm inside of an apartment, so I can't demonstrate. Well, I can do a little bit. <laughs> so I don't want to land too hard. So, um, and, and sidebar, that's why jumping on your toes is very important because you can jump light. And this is why jump rope is not too bad on the knees because all you have to do is a soft jump. You see, my feet are barely leaving the ground. So let's get back to the topic. When you're jumping rope, you should be like this, okay? And, and this is another reason why when you have hair, it should be 
down or it should be tied up because you see my hair interfered in the jump rope. So your jump, like, like from now when I'm jumping, my hair is now down because it interferes with the jump rope because the rope should be short, okay? So when you're jumping, I'm just, you should be here. Your arm shouldn't be all the way up here. Your arm shouldn't be sticking out. And the reason why people jump sometimes with their arms all the way up here or with their arms like this is because their jump rope is too long and they're trying to compensate for it by doing that. And when you do that, you're going to shorten the length of your First of all, if you're jumping with your arms out like this, you're shortening the length of your rope. And if you're jumping with your arms like this, that means the rope is way too long. Your arms are gonna get tired so fast and you're not gonna be able to do anything. So the size of your rope is very, very important. So, um, it's really good stuff. That the reason why I'm really here. So these are my Make It Fun Freestyle Rope Shaw. They are here. Woo, woo! And thanks to y'all that ordered so far. So, I have these ropes in conjunction with Jump Plus World, Adrian Ben Hedy. Um, she hooked the sister up, you know? So, these are the ropes. I have different colors available. So, there's four colors available. There's orange and blue, then there's blue and orange, there's uh, pink and black, and green and white. Okay, so you have four sizes available if you go on my website. So, anyway, let me just show y'all the rope. Uh, Instagram, that's the handle. So, Make It Fun NYC and Adrian. Okay, so these are my new jump ropes. Hey, check it out. So for those of you that ordered this rope so far, thank you, thank you, thank you, I appreciate you. And the first batch of ropes are going out today, okay? So, I have some scissors here because I believe this rope is very long, so I'm gonna have to cut, okay? So, this is my new jump rope, you guys. You can find this jump rope on my website. If you need the information, I will get that information to you, okay? So, as you can see, this jump rope is super de duper long. <laughs> I cannot jump with this rope. Super de duper long. Okay, so, but the goal is to get this rope to come to my armpits, okay? But like I said, in my my nature, I like to keep my rope just a little long and just tie knots in it. But right now, this is way too long, so I have, definitely have to adjust. So, for those of you that are getting your rope, this will definitely be available on the sales page as well as YouTube. You'll be able to find it around the web, okay? So, um, to start out, I, the only thing I can do is really one side for now. I'm just gonna push the rope up. And you see here, you have a clamp, right? So you would just take the white piece, pull it back. You will pull this black piece back. So let me pull it back. And then I'm going to take the white piece. Ah! And I'm gonna put it on top of the black piece, okay? So I brought this down some and I'm putting this back on. So make sure it aligns with the, um, the holes. Just make sure everything aligns and you can hold the rope and just pull it, boom. So, now that we did the first installment or the first measurement, right? You see all of this hanging out? No bueno. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the scissors. Bam, okay? So, now that we did that, let's see how it measures out. Under one foot, handles together, still too long, still too long, even too long for me to put knots in it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to go to the next side, I'm going to pull the white back, I'm going to pull the black back some, and I'm gonna pull the white back over the black part. And make sure everything's lined up, and This is a little tedious, but you get to measure your own rope and control how you want your rope. So boom, it's all secure. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take these scissors, boom, cut it. Now you want it that way. <laughs> so here's my rope again, and I'm going to measure it. Under the left foot, handles together. Now here you go, this is the perfect size for a beginner right at the tip of my shoulder. Perfect size for a beginner or someone that's trying to get used to the rope. Now, I could drop the scissors and leave it here and just tie knots in it, okay? Because it's not too much more knots I have to put in here to get to my chest. But me, I'm just gonna cut it again, okay? So one last demonstration, probably one last time I'm gonna do this, so. And I'm not gonna do it too much because I don't wanna make it too short because I like the rope at my chest level, okay? So I'm gonna take the white piece off. I'm gonna move this black piece back a little bit. I'm gonna recover. Whoa, 
Gotta make sure that th this is secure when you pull the cover because this is what um, fastens the rope. Okay. I just want this to stay still. Okay. Okay, so it's over now. And I'm just gonna cut a piece of this off. And now I'm gonna do the measurement again. So, bam, it comes right under the tip of my shoulder. So at this point, I can just go further or I can just tie some knots in it. So this is what I would do if I wanna shorten it. So that's one knot that side, one knot this side. Now, now it comes right a little where I want it, but that's what you want to do if the rope is too long, you want to shorten it, so it's not too much. So, you know what I'm going to do? Since I already used a bunch of rope with knots in it, I'm just going to do one more cut, and then that's that. So, I'm just going to do one more adjustment, and then my rope will be perfect for me. And if, even if I just need to do one knot, I'll be fine. So, ha! Um, Right here, I'm gonna pull the white piece off. We gotta pull the black piece down a little. Okay, I'm gonna put this. Okay, boom, it's done. Okay, so let me put these down. Let me measure it. And my rope is perfect for me. It comes right out of my armpit. It's perfect. So this one has no knots in it. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> so thank y'all so much for watching. Be sure to get your free, make it fun, freestyle jump ropes on my website. I will put it in the caption or I'll put it here. If y'all are in New York City, make sure you get to my classes. Thanks so much for the love on Instagram, my Facebook profile, and on Make It Fun NYC page. So these are my ropes. Check it out. And the ropes are now available on my website. I will put the link here. The first batch of ropes are going out today. Thank y'all so much for uh, the love and support. Like I said, they come in four colors. So it's orange handle, blue rope, blue rope. Hold on, orange handle, blue rope, blue rope, orange rope, um, pink rope, black handles, and green rope, white handles. So thank y'all so much. Yes, if you have any questions about my jump rope and how to get yours, definitely feel free to send me a message and I, I will be updating all my um, captions with the title or with the website where you can get my jump rope. So thank y'all so much for watching. Be sure to share this out, tell a friend. If you're on Instagram and you have a desire to share this out, just go to my Facebook at Make It Fun NYC. I'll talk to y'all later. Have a wonderful, phenomenal day. Bye.